Hey everyone, Artanis215 here, and we're here with Jake and the derpy ass sheep farm in a hole in the ground. Because chunk errors for the It's like I'm a special guest now, right? Yeah, right. So So is the sheep farm. It it might be temporary, I might nuke it later because it's just so derpy. But welcome to whatever episode this happens to be. The episode where I talk over you all the time, right? Well, we're going to talk over each other, so it'll be fair. It'll be fair? <laughs> it'll be fair. There'll be equal amounts of us going to talk at the same time, and then neither of us knowing what to say afterwards. So. Well, it happened twice right away. Your viewers are just going to think I'm just, like, a douche. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I might be the best part of the LP, right? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not this giant tank full of UU you matter. Well, it half full. Yeah, that's that's something. <laughs> and then um, go down. Uh, this level, right? Yeah, we added some recipes in here. Nothing fancy, just a bunch of stuff from what's it? And um, yeah, I think you guys have pretty much seen all the progress that I made this far. I've just been mining between episodes and collecting these things, and. You know, not dying, because <laughs> as we were just discussing, I, I've decided that flying in the quantum suit is too slow. Yes. I am not inkillable, but I am too slow. Precisely. Mechanical god. But still. Flying is a little bit faster. Would be nifty. I mean, I could, I could go bat Man, mode. I am still just... Bat mode. Bat mode's way cooler. I'd just be making Christian Bale jokes all the time, like... Listen to what I can do to my voice. <laughs> yes. So, a quick thing for you guys to ponder in between this episode and next, and I'm probably going to do most of the work off camera. I'll do some of the interior work on. But we were just discussing, um, I'm going to build a bridge from here, and it's going to, this angle's a little better, it's going to arc up and around into that hole that you can see right there. And then I'm going to turn this building, I'm thinking, into an industrial center. So it's going to be a factory of sorts, um, where I have this area with like all of my IC2 stuff, and kind of like a lot of this and a lot of that, and AE network and thermal expansion and build craft and rail craft and lots of shit. Um, I'm basically going to turn this into a giant something or another. It might just be all for show. I don't really know. I haven't decided yet. But let me know what you guys think of turning this into an in, like an industrial complex. And I have some plans for decorations on the outside aesthetically that I will not be discussing on camera because they're kind of a surprise. Um, oh, so if I started blabbering about it, that would have been bad, right? Probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, but today that wasn't for you viewers. That was for me. Like, don't run your mouth about my plans. <laughs> <laughs> So, downstairs, uh, did I do anything in here? I don't think I did. I was going to do stuff down here today, and I think I'm still going to. Um, basically what I want to do is we have, like, buttloads of resources, and I want to get some nuclear reactor crap going, I'm thinking, today. So, we, we're gonna, we're going to want to go through this process tree, macerate, then ore wash, and then thermal centrifuge our uranium. But I don't want to do it and have it go into my current AE system. Because if you pick up uranium without that on, even in this, nigh on killability, radiation hurts a lot. <laughs> um, I guess I can show you guys how much radiation actually hurts. I'm going to need, like, a little bit of pulverized stuff anyways. So let's see how fast I can kill myself. Whoa, that took a dark turn. So, crushed uranium ore, which we then take and wash it. And stuff will come out. Then we get purified crushed uranium ore. Uh, maybe the Q-suit does make me nigh unkillable. And we'll get some lead dust to go with it, which we'll just um, uh, import back into this AE network and have it process as normal. And then we'll thermal centrifuge this purified crushed uranium dust. 
Whoops. Is it weapons grade uranium? It might be. Or actually, I believe it is. Because I believe I can make a new... And yeah, yeah, that, that hurts, 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 that hurts. Ow. Ow. I'm dead. Oh, gosh. Lordy, man. Radiation poisoning is not a joke. Don't play with uranium, kids. It completely drained my quantum suit helmet and killed me. <laughs> so, what did we learn today? Don't play with things that can kill you. <laughs> Namely, this stuff. So, what we want to do to alleviate me dying again when I go to try to move this evil, evil substance is we're going to change into the dork suit. Yep, that's what we're dubbing it. The dork suit. This. The dork suit. Yep, oh, change. wow. <laughs> the dork suit. It's also the slow suit because... Arcanus we... is making meth. Look at that. <laughs> oh, God. Pop culture reference. And now we can handle it without dying. Because dying is bad. For the most part. For the most part. There are those occasional The good times. part is getting to see your relatives. Right? No? Right. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on what you guys believe in. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just put this stuff away. I don't want to deal with it. It's scary. It's scary and evil and we're just... Yeah, no. Not, 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 not playing with uranium right now. We're actually going to go and pull this back out. Slowly yeah. walk over here. I don't know if I can uh, enchant this be, stuff. I'm going to be blind for a second, but keep telling your viewers what you're doing. Right. So he's going to probably just, like, do something on his tablet. I don't know what. Oh, no, my ender pouch. Get back. Okay. So what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to craft these three machines again. <laughs> And I'm thinking we're going to set them up in this corner over here. Um, like, not in a corner. But more along this wall. And what we'll do is we'll use this connection up here. And we'll run it down and export into an applied energistic system. So, the way I'm going to do that is we're going to need a chest of some sort. Um... We have a diamond chest, that'll work. So we'll probably put our diamond chest here. And we're actually... You know what, I'm going to go with two iron chests instead of that. Um, and you, you guys will see why in a second. Uh, do I have iron? Okay, well... We can craft one more these so we're gonna get two of these and we're going to put them one on top of the other like this I want to say that was pretty good um, don't know how I want and then we're going to run power so we've got an MFP back here hiding delivering power out to our recyclers and I'm thinking we're probably just going to tap into this and run, sir. Okay, I should have enough room. We're going to have um, them set up. We're going to need a little bit of infrastructure first, I think. So let's get some applied energistic stuff. So we're going to need a controller. Wow, I don't have any of that. Genius. Controller. Nope, 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 nope. Fluix. We're going to need four of those, and then we needed a advanced. So we need one of those. Okay, so it's crafting this stuff. Looks like it's already done with the Fluix pearls, or crystals, things. Finally, okay, so I have a controller, and do I have build craft power somewhere? Um, no, but I don't think this network is going to be power intensive enough to for us to need to worry, so we're just going to get some cable out, and we'll probably just use golden cable because it's cheap. 
and doesn't require diamonds. So what we'll do is we'll branch off of this, run along here, and somewhere along here will be our setup. We're going to need another one of those transvector interfaces, which I'll probably craft off camera, just because they're kind of a pain to craft. Kind of a pain, right? They're kind of a long process to craft them. Not not terribly, but I have to probably go refine as, uh, aspects and stuff like that. Um, we're also going to need... I'm not going to do a drive for this because it's going to be explicitly for uranium, or exclusively, or however you want to say that. Um, so I'm just going to use a chest uh, from Applied Energy Sticks, and then we're going to need a conversion matrix as well, which needs one of those. I'm so out of everything as far as like being backstocked on, um, well, pretty much everything. How are we on nether quartz? I'm going to have to go mining for that again soon. I mean, you just told me you had like 7,000 cobblestone or some ridiculous number like that. I actually have 7,000. still you're out of thousand. everything. I know, I don't have any back stock. I have like 19,000 mud and 17,000 cobble and 20,000 dirt. I even have like 5,000 iron and 100 something diamonds. But I don't have back stock on anything, so I have to craft everything. Why don't I have an interface in this room? That's what I'm beginning to wonder, because I'm getting sick of running all the way over here whatever um, and then we're going to need a storage cell uh, for 4, 4k sounds pretty good we'll just do a 4k storage cell so what we're going to do is we're going to have our controller probably under our chest yeah, I'll do our controller our chest and then we're going to do we're going to need some buses cool. uh, we're going to need an import bus Bus, 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 bus. So we need a precision export, which we have one of, and we're going to need a precision. Im Wait, do I have an import? I have an export, so we need an import. Yeah. Precision import. Um, crafting. Those are two very important words to not mix up, right? I know. Because <laughs> then I would end up with like two of one, and it would be all stupid. So oh, man. I've done that. I like. I requested a batch of like 10 of each, only I screwed up and I ended up with 20 of one of them and then I was just face palming and I was like, really? I screwed up that hard? How did I pull that off? Um, do I want it to be like that? So I'm going that to- That doesn't look too bad. I'm, well, I'm going to have to bring cable down. I'm gonna actually need one more of each of those just for right now. So I'm going to need one more export and one more import. So I'm thinking how I want to run this. Do I want to have uh, this be the outgoing chest back into the main system, like up here? Because uh, right now it's the in chest. I mean, it's not going to matter. I'm probably just going to run cable down here and then over and right there. Uh, so it can be either or. Um, I think I'm going to do in on top, or, yeah, in on top, out on bottom. So, let's get our, what is taking this thing so long? Craft more quickly. Do I need to go refresh my thingies upstairs because you're being derpy? You know, Artanis, if I ever did start to play with the mods you play with, I would probably just watch your old Let's Plays again, because you were super explanatory, man. Yeah, I... I tried to be a lot more explanatory in my older Let's Plays, and I guess, like, by now, I just have this, it's almost an assumption that most of my viewer base watches Direwolf. So, I just kind of assume that... You can kind of skip over things I can and kind just of jump. not have to explain as much, which is why, like... For me, I think this is episode 17, and I already have a full-fledged quantum suit, half a tank, half a steel tank at that of UU Matter, and a pretty well-established base, I would say. And he's definitely established, but as far as tech goes, he doesn't... He he explains things so well that he doesn't tech like I do. I, what is going on here? 
Do I need to teach you how to make an import bus? I swear. <laughs> Basic import bus. Relearn that. Alright, fine. Import. Make. Oh, look. Look at that. So guys, sometimes there's a couple of ways that you can resolve the issue that I just had. One, I believe from what I've tested, is if you just go up and break your controller, like that, it'll kill your entire network. Like, nothing is working at all right now. I can't access anything. And then you replace it back down. Most of the time it will reread all the recipes from your crafter, and it will work again. Or you can do what I just did and run around and just take it out and put it back in and kind of update the system. Because sometimes it does get stuck, and that just happens. Um... We both have a mutual friend who just watched the IT crowd, and he's been saying nonstop, have you tried turning it off and on again? And it's just been so tempting to blather on like him, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So now we should have power over here. We do. Um, it looks like it's taking about 5 EU per tick to run that guy. After a quick verbal flub, <laughs> we're going to re-record something here really quickly. Uh, I'm going to jump off camera and craft the transvector interface. Um, uh, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to have the ore washing plant macerator and thermal centrifuge crafted with some overclockers and whatnot ready to rock and roll here. And then we're going to hook everything up and get uh, the system in place so that we can process some uranium and not die. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to hop off camera, and I believe Jake here has to go, uh, at least for a minute. We're I'm going to wait for him to come back. Um, if, wait for me to come back? Yeah, I want to finish the episode with you. So. I. Did, are we going to do another recording session? Because I, I will probably be preoccupied for the rest of the night. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm not super rushed on this episode. I've been a little bit inconsistent as, which I'm sorry for, guys. <laughs> um, I know the videos haven't been up super consistently, but school and other real-life things have been uh, keeping me preoccupied. So yeah, when the videos go up... Talk. Speaking of real-life things, go guys, up. you go ahead. Uh, that, that was all I had to say. That was all you had to say? Yeah, as far as that little... I guess it is fair that we're talking over each other, but... Uh... <laughs> You guys listen to Artanis talk, and you listen to his nice little words, like inconsistent, I'm sorry, guys. That's not at all how he talks outside of YouTube. Artanis and me come from the same state, and I can't tell you exactly what it's called, because Artanis would be mad at me. But I can tell you that it rhymes with Hennessy, and we come from a place that rhymes with Melby County. This boy is a cowboy, don't let him fool you. When I first met him, he was so mean to me, I got into his truck one time and he's like, saddle up. I'm like, what? He's like, buckle up, stupid. He yelled at me. <laughs> talks to you guys like hey guys what's going on puts on that soft commentator voice i want you guys to know the truth youtube i'm this mean vicious dick <laughs> rides horseback every day that's how he gets to college exactly that, that 30 mile trek it'll better be wearing some damn good pants that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> anyways guys uh. we will catch you in a split second for YouTube time. Uh, it'll be literally like a video start stop away, but um, it'll be it'll be tomorrow. Um, when when we start recording again, guys, it'll no longer be Super Bowl Sunday. I'm yes. gonna date your episode as much as possible. That is the current date, so it will be Monday probably when we finish this, and it will be Monday. It'll be early Tuesday morning when this goes up. For those of you who don't know, what I do is I record, I render while I'm possibly recording another episode or just playing around in the world doing things and then i upload when i go to bed sometime around 10 or 11 p.m sometimes later depending on how late i'm up but because my internet is kind of garbage <laughs> um i don't have the bandwidth to upload whilst i'm doing other things so i upload late at night and then my videos show up on the youtubes at like between 1 and 5 a.m the next day so you might have to scroll down in your subscription feed a little bit because chances are my video is further down. 
But anyways, for right now, guys, we will both catch you in, like, split second. But cut time. Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video thus far. Uh, talk to you in a bit. We'll get back to it tomorrow, guys. All right, everyone. I am back. Um, unfortunately, I am solo right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done. Uh, we're definitely going to wrap this episode up here in the next probably five minutes or so. Um, I have been trying to get a hold of Jake, but I haven't been able to. So I hope you guys enjoyed the co-commentary while we had it. Uh, he'll definitely be back in the very near future. Um, possibly the next episode. That's a world hole. Junk errors for the win. Alright, but anyways. Um, I put in some work off camera. Got some machines crafted. I'm not going to hook this up until we're back with Jake. Uh, but this system's pretty much ready to go. Not too much more needs to happen with it, and it'll be 100% functional. Um, we've got just about everything ready to roll with it. Uh, also, I went upstairs, and I've gotten a framework laid out here. I'm going to work on the bridge off camera as well. Uh, I was just kind of playing with where I wanted to, how I wanted to design it, and where I wanted the midpoint to be, etc., etc. Um, as you can see, this thing is basically filled up. That's how long I've been on. We set up this, our quantum link chamber. chamber. Um, it has one of the singularities in it. It's hooked up to power through the back and to the A network through that panel, through a panel that's uh, right there. So that thing's ready for when we get our secondary base going. Um, and the biggest thing that I've been doing is I have been working my butt off on some Ars Magica stuff. Now, I am very, very, very new to Ars Magica. This will probably be, this will be the first season that I've played with it in, and really the first time I get into the mod and go through everything from start to finish, from scratch, like, by myself, uh, without help. Um, or without being in creative mode where everything's unlocked and you can just play around all day. So I've been doing some research off camera, uh, interwebs and playing and testing worlds research. There isn't actually research that you do in Ars Magica. Um, it's kind of like a skill point based tech tree from what I understand. And I have back here, I've got a little ender chest set up, purple, 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 and it has a bunch of stuff for Ars Magica and it being supplied by our, a, our AE network. I'm stuttering. It's terrible. And uh, I have an area set up over by the wool farm. So if we go to the wool farm, uh, it's it's up here somewhere. You'd never guess where it was. It is hidden intentionally. Um, it's actually right here. Now, I, I had to mine for a long time to get the resources to get these sunstone blocks. Like, it took me forever. I had to go scavenge the nether. Um, I had to scavenge the overworld. But I've managed to get... Uh, these five sunstone sunstone blocks for the nexus here. Um, as you can see, I've unlocked quite a bit of stuff. But I mean, by no means have I unlocked everything. Not even close. Uh, so, we have our three types of necks I set up. Um, and I set up under here some red alloy wire underneath each of these to request essence from the linked nexuses. So, like, if we use this uh, Magitech staff, crafted like this, and we see it has 77%, each of these has a percentage, and if we turn on the redstone, this will begin sending its essence into these mana batteries, and it will be draining itself, so... That's that. We'll let it charge up. And then we have a Calfactor back there, which is basically a furnace with some charge focuses in it to help it craft stuff faster, or uh, smelt stuff faster. And uh, being off of Light Nexus energy, which is what this setup is, it will it has a chance to double. So I've been doing all of my Vintium dust in there. Um, and I want to figure out a way to swap out these Moonstone blocks for these Diamond blocks when it becomes night, because then we can have this thing charging 24-7, and I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, uh, I have a little bit of the tech tree unlocked. Um, I didn't, I 
mainly fought the water guardian a couple of times. It was raining. I went out to an ocean biome, fought the water guardian, got some of these skill points. Um, and I picked up a few in dungeons. I picked up, I think, a couple of green ones in the dungeons. So I managed to unlock one of the really, really cool combinations. So if you do this combination, um, I use projectile. You could use self or something like that if you wanted to, although I don't think you'd want to do self magic damage and astral distortion. Kind of silly. Uh, but we're going to craft this. So to start the crafting process, all we're going to do is we're going to get a blank rune. And we're going to toss it right there. So now we're going to need, um, looks like, some Vintium Dust. An arrow, which we can get quite easily from our AE system. Got plenty of those. We now need a Snowball. Do I have any snow? Hmm. Well, this is going to require something a little bit extra. Let's go get a Glacial Precipitator. So, this also requires snow. Do I have a snow biome? Anywhere? There we go. That'll do. Haha. -ha. We'll just, uh... Quickly gather up some snow here. That ought to do for right now. Uh, we'll go back straight to the AM2 room. And it totally cancelled our... No, it didn't. Okay. Toss that in there. We need a purple rune. So we're going to need some purple dye. Which we have about a stack of. Thank goodness. And a blank rune. Purple rune. We need a piece of lapis. A book. Okay, can we get paper? Dang it, nope. Um, we need a book. We're going to set that up as something that to keep stocked. So I believe most of these things need books in some way or another. Okay. Come on over here. Oh. Okay, so we can't. Um, I'll set that up later. For right now, I'm just going to have this thing craft like, I don't know, 16 or something. So, toss in a book. We need a stone sword. So let's get a couple pieces of cobblestone. And a stick. Huh. And we need an earth essence. How do I make one of those? Okay, so we need an essence refiner. How do I make an essence refiner? So an essence refiner needs a bunch of stuff. So we're going to get a diamond. We're going to get some obsidian. We're going to get some wood. And we're going to need one of these arcane ash. Do, 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 do. And then it was like that. Alright, so we'll set this up right here. And we'll go ahead and link it to that mana battery. It looks like that thing was already providing, so. And then to get our earth essence, we need dirt, stone, and obsidian, and an arcane ash. So we need one of these. We're going to need stone. 
we're going to need dirt. I don't know how many of these I need. I just know that I need some. Okay, so. Dirt, stone, obsidian. Dirt, obsidian, uh, stone, and arcane ash. Nothing should start processing now. And it is. I don't know how long this takes to process, to be honest, so we'll find out. And what else do we need in this? Earth Essence, one Eye of Ender, and one Spell Parchment. So we're going to need an Ender Pearl and a Blaze Powder. Then we need a Spell Parchment. Alright, so there's our earth. Earth essence. Oh, we need a compass. Okay. Four of those. One redstone. Go. Another purple rune. One of those, one more of these. Our Eye of Ender, and there we go. Ooh, nice. So, new entry unlocked. All right, what did we get? Gaining magic levels. See mechanics, affinity. All right, cool. And mana cake. We can make some mana cakes. We can make a spell book, which we already actually have one of one, and we can make staffs. Oh, shit, that's it, right? Yep. Okay. So we got this really cool arcane spell book. But we're just gonna name this random projectile. And yeah, we'll give it that. So we've got this thing. It's cost 90 mana. Holy cow. Oh, well, we just discovered a spell part. And actually, let's run in here and get some mana regen. This thing might not be charged enough. Let's see. How charged are you? Zero? Why are you zero? Are you charging that thing? Dang. Okay, well, we're not going to get mana regen. That's okay, though. Uh, we are going to put this uh, this away. Okay, so that's... We no longer need that. Okay. All I wanted that for was so that I could, under my offense tree, have this Star Strike spell. That's what I really wanted, guys. Because this thing just looks awesome. So if we go like this, and we're going to do a projectile... Um, can I get damage yet? Just straight up damage. No, that's that needs two reds and a green. Okay, that'll be a ways off. We'll upgrade this spell later, but it's really cool by itself. So we're gonna do projectile. Where'd my book go? Oh, whoops, that was fail. Uh, go away. So, projectile, star strike, and. Yeah, we're gonna do star strike. V1. And then we're going to do another spell. Heal and regen, and we're going to apply it to self. OK. 
Okay. Alright, so this is going to be so we can just get our levels up. Alright, so. So, Star Strike V1. Gonna need a bunch of stuff, but, um. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to craft this guy, and then I'm going to do the other ones off camera. So we need some arcane ash. An arrow. Snowball. Oh, we need an arcane essence. How do I make an arcane essence? Five arcane ash. Okay. Let that thing do its thing. Oh, what else are we going to need? We need two arcane essence, actually. We'll just get those two ready to go. Uh, we're also going to need... We have Arcane Ash. We're going to need a, a Mana Battery, which I have. And then we're going to need a Lava Bucket, which we can manage. Just like that. Let's hope these things are hurrying up along. There's one. I'm gonna need another arcane ash. Now we need another one of those essences right away. That's kind of funny. Slow thingy is slow. We need arm, um, which I do have some of, I think. So, yeah. I don't think we have an affinity. We are zero percent. Once we use this thing a lot, we'll have clear caster. So we will be weak to magic, but we'll also have a focus in it. So. That will be kind of neat. All right, go in there. Mana battery, lava bucket, and spell parchment. Okay. Star strike V1. Give it that cool thing. All right. Let's go outside. And try this bad boy out. How much does it cost? 225. Uh, we don't have the levels to cast this thing yet. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to wrap the episode up there, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Expect more commentary from Jake and myself doing a duocom in the near future. Uh, I'm going to go ca uh, craft that other spell. And um, hopefully just level myself up using it. Because I'm going to need... Um, Quite a bit more mana than I have to cast this bad boy. Uh, I might be able to if I put it in this. See, it's still going to cost a bunch of mana. Don't have enough. It's okay. We'll get there eventually, guys. Anyways, for now, I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and take it easy.